All right, listen to this. This is uh, today's helping hero is an Uber driver mm -hmm. from Germantown, Tennessee. Late one night, she picked up a passenger who was coming off a long hospital shift. That inspired her. That story that night inspired her to do something, and she joins us right now. So, so let's say hello from her from her vehicle as we speak. Where are you right now? I am in Germantown, Tennessee. And you've and pulled over. Your, na your name is uh, your name is Tammy Rivera, and you've pulled over for us. We really appreciate it. Um, boy, boy, what you've done is a really extraordinary thing. Um, so you you picked up a hospital worker, correct? Correct. And what did the hospital worker say to you? She asked if on the way home, um, can we stop by McDonald's? I'm hungry. And waiting in line, um, came to understand that the ca the hospital cafeteria closes at seven. Night shift comes in at seven and with the covid all the restaurants were closing early because they didn't have any customers and so if they didn't bring in dinner or something from home they didn't eat or they ate out of a vending machine wow and so you decided that you were going to take it upon yourself to start delivering meals to the hospital workers it bothered me that there were a lot of people facing this virus head on and they weren't getting dinner. I got up from my nap um, that, that, that Saturday and posted on the Germantown Community Bulletin Board on Facebook what I had learned and, and asked the question, is there something we can do to feed these people? And another member of the bulletin board said, wouldn't it be great if we bought the dinners from a locally owned restaurant so that we're helping two groups of people? Um, I put my Venmo and PayPal on the board and said, if y'all want to make donations, I'll find a restaurant, I'll pick up the meals, and I'll get it, you know, delivered to these people. And that two hours later, I had enough money to do that that was the first night wow it's amazing at, at, to see how how people are just they're wanting to do something they're wanting to help and you gave them that opportunity also kelly there is something that is legit about southern hospitality tammy wouldn't you say oh yeah cradle to grave if you live in the south and you have a life event no matter how big or how small it is someone's going to show up with food or groceries or both. Um, and Memphis is known for a special Memphis Southern hospitality. Mm. We we make hospitality a verb. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so great. You know, as of as of Sunday night, you've delivered twenty two hundred meals to the local hospital in your area. Is that true? Twenty two hundred meals. That is true. Tonight will be night 39 or 40 that wow. we've done this. Tammy, it is so great to see you uh, there in your car, which is your office, as you are getting all this done for your community. And we have a couple things for you. So Dole is one of our partners, and they are going to supply a year's worth of fruit cups and also $5,000 for you towards your effort, just as a thank you. Thank you. Aw, thank you, Tammy. Wow, you're, a, you're a, a, an extraordinary person, and you really have turned hospitality into a verb, and we appreciate you so much. Thank you very much. You take care, okay? I will. You too. Y'all stay safe. You too, you too. Tammy. Bye. -bye. Uh, oh, her rating is through the roof, isn't it? Oh my gosh! It's five stars. There's not at enough. All there's there's not enough of a scale to scale that, right? She's so that's she that's is just great. So great, and she is su she's such a lady, right?
Yeah. Just a yeah. gem of a human being. Wow, good for her.